With this video, I will show you how to add images to your page. We start where we left off in the previous video, however, this is not a requirement. The basics remain the same. I have placed images in the images folder that we use for our project. Our page contains three image placeholders. This makes it easy, we just need to link the image to the placeholder. Select the first image placeholder. In image properties, select the relevant image. Because the image changes its size in different clients, we need to make it responsive. Repeat the process for the other two image placeholders. I did prepare the images beforehand, to ensure that they have the same dimensions. In this case the images have been trimmed to 300 by 200. Next on the list is a background image for the banner. Selecting the container, tells us that it does not stretch to the full width of the page. Here I will change the type of container to a fluid one. To add a background image, we go to the design panel. Scroll down to background. Here, I select the banner image. We now see a large image that is positioned to the top left corner of the container. Being a background image, it does not affect the size of the container like a foreground image does. The first step to a solution, is to make the image cover the container. The next step is to ensure that the center of the image is always placed in the center of the container. For the x-axis we enter 50% and the y-axis we choose center. Lastly, I will set the height of the container. Scroll up and for the height dimension, enter 45 VH. This means that we set the height of the container to about half the height of the viewport. Checking the creation in for other devices, we see that it works quite well. Last on the list is the logo that I want for the navigation bar. Open the navigation partial. I want to know the height that is permitted for the icon. Selecting navbar, the dimension is unfortunately hidden behind the ruler. As a workaround, add a container before the navigation bar. Now, when we click on navbar, we clearly see the height of 40. We take note of this for the image height. Remove the container, we no longer need it. Double click navbar and enter the new text, making sure to add a preceding space. This creates a space between it and the logo. In app structure, right click navbar brand. In the pop up, select image. Under image properties, Select the logo image. Set the remembered height of 40 and we are done. Thank you for watching. My name is Ben Plesier, and don't forget to go to the Wappler documentation in the forum if you have queries or problems. The links are listed below this video.